You must have known this day would come. There's a finite number of things we can talk about. But you have no idea how much this will hurt me. Can't we just kick me in the balls for eight minutes? We're not attacking you, okay? It's just... Wait, you'd actually let us do that? Yeah. Stay on target. Nothing's sacred, Michael. We always end up ruining whatever we talk about. Or making me genuinely afraid of it. And I won't do it. Not with Pixar. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, fine. But I'm going first. Slavery's okay. Awful opener. I'm not saying it though, they are. Toy Story's actually the most depressing film trilogy of all time. And not just because hilarious joke. And those toys have personalities and desires and emotions, but the humans just force them to interact with children. The shittiest kind of human that we've got. And then discard them. Andy even brands his slaves. No, the toys like it. The toys love getting played with in Toy Story 3. Like the slaves loved slavery in Uncle Tom's cabin? Stay on target! The best way for Toy Story to end would have been for the toys to announce to the world that they're sentient and form a new society where humans and toys can hang out together as friends. Maybe more. We'll see where it goes. No pressure. Yeah. Did I win already? I'm in his head. Soren, check him for boners. No, I've seen this before. He's just building up steam for a new idea. You're, you're fine, right? Now cars. It doesn't exactly impart a terrible lesson, but isn't it strange that there are no people in cars? There's people in cars everywhere. Pixar's Cars. Oh, Pixar, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I skipped that one. Looks kind of crappy. Who does drive the cars? Little smaller cars? No one, they, they just drive themselves and talk and hang out. Oh, maybe they evolved on some like alien talky car planet. Maybe. No, I didn't actually see it. I'm just basing this on the trailer. No, 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 it was definitely Earth. I mean, there were a lot of man-made landmarks. And why are we talking about cars if no one here has seen it? Right, slavery's still better. Slavery for the win, who's with me? No. Katie's right. Oh look, he's back! And I already totally disagree with him. Now, Katie, I know we've never really gotten along in the past. We've had our disagreements, sure. But you just gave me the missing piece of the puzzle. We're having the wrong argument. It's not about which one of Pixar's lessons is the most dangerous. There's only one lesson, and it's not a lesson, it's a thing. All of Pixar's movies are in the same universe, and they're building a timeline for the robot apocalypse. No, they're not. <laughs> no to which? The robot apocalypse or the one universe? Well, it would help if you did both. Oh, I believe I have to explain this. In Toy Story, Andy has a poster of a car. It's a car from the movie Cars. Also, the Pizza Planet car is in literally every Pixar movie that's set in the modern day. Lots of fun Huggin' Bear is in the movie Up. Additional Easter egg, additional Easter egg. This is the stuff that everybody knows about Pixar. Go on the internet, you're the only one who doesn't know it because they're telling one movie in one universe. They're just jumping around in time. Okay? Okay. Now the robot apocalypse... They set the tone in Toy Story. That's where we learned that the toys, the seemingly inanimate things, are actually thinking, feeling, moving, immortal creatures. But what they don't tell us is what other seemingly inanimate things are actually conscious. Our dishwashers? Our phones? Our cars? Right. In cars, we see a world where everything's alive. But, as Soren said, the humans are gone. That's because at this point in time, the objects got rid of them. Woody and the gang, plus the machines, plus the cars, got sick of being discarded by the humans every few years, so they just sent them away. I thought we agreed that this took place on like a sexy alien car plane. Who said sexy? I mean, your brain is like the porn parody version of a brain. Less plot. No, no, no. There are clearly familiar Earth landmarks in the Cars movies. The humans had to be there at one point, so the Cars had to have gotten rid of them. They killed them? No. Oh, no. They just sent them away on a giant spaceship. Wally! No. It's terrible. It's... Wally! But the humans screwed themselves and Wally! Oh, that's it. They had to leave the planet when they ruined it. When, when pollution, when pollution ruined the planet. But humans don't ooze pollution. But cars do! I was, I was fucking leading up to that. The cars ruin the planet and then they force humans onto a spaceship where they become slaves of this seemingly inanimate I machine. Was fucking leading up to that! But wait, humans aren't slaves in Wally. Slaves don't get that fat. Slave abs are always like, blow. What decisions do they make? What agency do they have? They dress the same every day. They follow an identical schedule every day. They don't even move. So they rise up against the machines and head back to Earth. Where they will become slaves to Wally. Slaves, subjects, disciples. 
when they get back to Earth, someone's going to need to lead them. Why not Wally? He is the one who freed them. He's the one who's going to teach them how to farm and work the land. He's already their messiah. Like a cyborg Jesus. Wait, but why would the objects even want the humans back? Toy Story 3. That wasn't an Uncle Tom story. It was legit. The toys and the machines love being played with. They were just sick of getting it on the humans' terms. So, the cars ruin the planet, forcing the humans away, and they can come back, but only after all of the humans who remember a time when they had complete control over the machines died out and were replaced by a generation of people raised on a robotic authority. That ship was just Noah's Ark if it had amazing in-flight service and if they were busy teaching the animals to just love their all-providing robotic big brother. The resurrection, a character named Eve, tons of biblical references. Because Wally is the cyborg Jesus in Pixar's one giant movie about the robot apocalypse. O'Brien, out! So I guess now no one gets to eat. What the fuck? Actually wasn't so bad though. Kind of makes Pixar cooler. Wait a minute, what about Ratatouille or Brave? Well, Brave happened hundreds and hundreds of years in the past, before all this, and Ratatouille happened in France. Like, we had the whole main Pixar story going on, and then meanwhile, in France, there's like, like a rat that could cook. What about Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, and Finding Nemo, and A Bug's Those Life. Those were also Pixar movies. I, who gives a shit what bugs are doing during the robot apocalypse? It's really fell apart on you, didn't it? Yeah, I guess I came at it sort of half-cocked. I had you guys, though, for a while. I'm still totally cocked, buddy. Oh my god, he is. Thanks, man. All cocked up, whatever we want. Are we getting cocked up? I didn't realize. We're gonna get cocked up, yeah. I can't do that, guys. Can I get badged up? No, oh, don't be gross. Hey, it's Nick from IT. Welcome to Crack.com. Subscribe and join the crazy nonstop party. Reeling back in. You can't, you need those balloons for later.